mission for our team definitely this year was to win a state championship. We've been working on it since fifth grade, and I think we got the talent to do it this year, so that's been the goal. It's always to go all the way. It's always to win state, get there, but chipping away every region game, one region game at a time, get a good seed in the playoffs, and just take it one game at a time, go as deep as we can, and just keep this train rolling. Ever since we were kids, growing up, playing select, all of us together, it was just the biggest thing is state and bringing home that ring and you know finishing it off. I've never met a team as tight as we are. We're all one here and we have fun together. We go through it all together, good and bad. Wearing that Milton M, it strikes fear into everyone else that looks at you, you know? For the last decade, people have been afraid to play Milton. Every day, you can wake up and beat any team. And it's about when you step on the field, it's about who wants it more and who's gonna be a dog for that ground ball? Who's gonna go hit somebody and get a turnover and go ahead and take the ball in the other direction? You go out there, and if you wanna win, if the other guys on your team wanna win, like, you're gonna win the game. Our mission was to live up to the potential of the program. So expectations were high. Once our Notre Dame commit, Fisher Finley went down. It became about being resilient, a resilient team. That's pretty much our, been our motto, is just, you know, even the next man up, we're all in it together. You know, these guys showed a lot of resiliency. And, uh, you know, here we are. Everyone trying to step up. Just every kid is trying to step in that role and be the player. Best thing for their team. Buckle down and keep going. Keep grinding. Play for the guy next to you. Make sure he gets better. On the defensive side, it's work hard. Make sure that offensive guy gets better. He's going to work just as hard to make you better. That last little game was just so big for us. We came together. We don't care about the outcome. Our goal that game was just to play like dogs. That was a highly anticipated game. Going into that, the ranked number one team in the state, and quite frankly, nobody believed in us, and nobody thought that we had a chance of winning, so uh, that kind of just made it all more special when we uh, made it happen. You always talk about like coming together as brothers and like everyone pitches in, like everyone connected at once and it just clicked. You knew someone had your back the whole way through the whole game. It just was like a really good feeling for the team. So it's a tough place to play. It's a really, really good team. They were ranked number one at the time. The boys came together. They played for each other and just chipped away and we did our jobs. Defense played lights out and offense scored when we needed it. It was, it was awesome. It was, it was definitely one of my favorite moments. chip away, don't look past anybody, and just, just take it one face off at a time, one grab ball at a time, one goal at a time. Rub the M. That's always been our motto. So having an M on your chest is just something that like wherever you go, even if it's off the field, you wear a t-shirt with the M on it, like you represent, you act like a gentleman. You come from Milton and I mean, we have all been raised to be gentlemen, be respectful kids, but even on the field, it's like you work hard for that M, you work hard to represent Milton, you work hard to represent our students. And that goes for any sport. You can ask any athlete here at Milton, you wear this M on your chest, it's something that you can never get like taken away from you. The other schools might have their logo, but an M to us is like, that's our thing. You wear that on your chest proud. Milton lacrosse team has always been a very smart, very type A type boys. They come from really good families. They respect, the Milton logo, but that's the guy you want in the foxhole. You know, that's that's kind of the culture. Take it all in, boys. It flies by. It's super fun. Coach Pat and Coach Haas are great guys, and they both they love you guys, and they all want the best for you. So just take it all in and just enjoy every practice and every red dawn because it, it flies by. 
Being a Milton lacrosse player, it's a family away from home, really. I know I can count on these guys for anything. I can call them up, have them do anything for me, and that do anything for them. Playing lacrosse on top of that with them, it's one of the greatest feelings. We never give up on ourselves, and I'm pretty proud of the way that our guys have just not given up. Since eighth grade, we were that team that everybody wants to beat. You know, we come out here and play against teams, and they'll tell us to their face, this is our Super Bowl. This is the only game we care about all season. Yeah, I mean, it definitely makes it a little bit more interesting. We gotta work even harder than everybody else we're playing against. How tight we are is just kind of everything to me, you know? I mean, it doesn't matter the outcome. I know my boys got my back, I got their back. And I think that's all that matters. Being picked for a captain this year was, I had a big honor. So I've kind of had to step in the role and just try to be a leader for the team. My coaches have taught me a lot. I've learned a lot about life through pretty much lacrosse because I've been playing it for so long. I've been around it for so long. Just the coaches have taught me like respect, like, you know, family, like take care of each other, just all that stuff. And I'm really appreciative of it. Let's say to the seniors, good luck, you know, in your future, whether that involves lacrosse or not, good luck, and I know they're gonna be okay. They're always gonna have that special bond with each other, always gonna have a place here, a family here, for sure, that lives on forever, and, you know, it's always tough to say goodbye to that senior class, even tougher when you got 22 of them, 23 of them. I mean, we have a lot of seniors, right? It's our basic, our whole varsity, but I'm really proud of all you guys. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do in the future as, as young men. I love everybody on my team, man. I mean, this is my life, you know. I'm sad to see it coming to an end for, you know. Blessed to be on this team, blessed to be at this program, and it really is a blessing. I love it. With Milton comes winning, and that's something that we kind of pride ourselves on, so uh, it's a great feeling to go out as a winner every single day, being a part of the Milton lacrosse team. From the coaches in sixth grade all the way to 12th grade, I have grown so much because of y'all, and I just appreciate it. like. Even if I don't show it all the time, like, I'll always be there. Everyone's camaraderie and everyone coming together, sharing that love, sharing that, that Milton love. We couldn't have gone this far without it. And I want to thank every single person who's been on that road with us. Just don't give up and keep working hard and pushing towards that goal because I'm going to get knocked down a lot. But, you know, the comeback has to always be bigger than the setback. And you know, I like to say you either win or you learn. And I've definitely learned a lot this season. These coaches would do anything for any of us, no matter what the case would be. Like, these guys are great. My teammates love every single one of them. They're all brothers to me, like blood. And my family, like I just want, I would definitely thank them so much for everything they've done for me, not even just Milton Lacrosse, like raising me to be the man I am, taking me to all of these club tournaments. Everyone's a family, and that comes to my teammates, my family, my coaches. I just love everybody, like everyone's definitely made me the man I am today, like if anybody wasn't here, I wouldn't be this guy. And I definitely like who I've turned out to be. Everyone at this school and this big family we have here takes a lot of pride in wearing the M, and I do too, I love it, wouldn't change it for the world. Every team we will ever play will be at our necks just because we got the name on our chest, and I love it, I love it. Wearing that M means a lot to me, and I'm glad I get to wear it.